It's day 76, 2016, and today here Maps breaks up with Windows 10, Meizu gets hissed with MediaTek, and Google Maps adopts Ola Caps in India. All this and more after the intro. At an event in China, MediaTek and Meizu have confirmed that the upcoming flagship Pro 6 will exclusively sport a DECA Core Helio X25 processor. It's from MediaTek of course and it's very similar to the X20 which was announced earlier. It has a very similar architecture with two quad-core A53 CPUs and a dual-core A72 CPU for high-performance tasks. But the clock speeds are indeed higher. This will go up to 2.5 GHz and the T880 MP4 Mali GPU will go up to 850 MHz. The Pro 6 is not quite ready for launch yet, but there are already rumors of it packing 6 GB of RAM. A 10-core processor and 6 GB of RAM? The event sure is going to be interesting. Here Maps has announced that it will no longer support Windows 10 and is pulling its apps from the store. This is because as of June 30th, the workaround that made Here Maps compatible with Windows 10 and its devices will no longer be effective. So instead of writing for the platform again from scratch, the company has decided that it, it will pull the apps from the store. However, Windows Phone 8 users will be able to access the apps and they will get support in terms of critical bug fixes, but that's about it. The development stops there too, according to the company, which will now focus on iOS and Android as its main development platforms. Sony's PlayStation VR has finally got itself launch and pricing details, which were revealed yesterday at the Game Developers Conference. The headset will cost you $399, and there will be additionally an external processing unit in the box along with stereo headphones. But what doesn't come in the box is the eye camera or the Move controllers, which will cost you an additionally $60 and $50 respectively. But apart from that, this will give you the cheapest point of entry into VR gaming because Sony is planning to push about 50 odd games before the official reveal of the consumer variant in October 2016. So we gotta wait till then, but considering what we have here, PlayStation VR seems like a really good option, especially for those who already have the Move controllers and the eye camera. Google Maps is expanding its integration with ride-hailing services in five countries, including India, where it's going to be Ola, in addition to the already existing Uber. This new option will appear in the navigation tab as an extra, and they will show you details of how far your cab is, how much you are going to pay for the cab and of course even the different services within the cab company for example uber black uber x everything will be uh, visible inside the navigation menu and you'll be able to select them right away from inside the maps app this is obviously a really convenient decision for us as users but this is the topic of discussion does it really work out which one do you prefer do you prefer to go into the maps and taking the cab rides or do you prefer going straight into the cab apps? Let us know what you prefer in the comment section below and that's about it for today's show. See you tomorrow with more technology news. Thanks for watching.